And now let's start tonight's festivities. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your hosts from WFAN Radio and the popular Mike and the Mad Dog Show, Mike Francesa and Christopher Russo. It's Mike and the Mad Dog on the fan. Nothing can get by him, turn it on and try him. Mike and the Mad Dog, WFAN. Good evening, everybody. How are you all doing here tonight as we... Welcome and celebrate Marv Albert's 25th year at the New York Knickerbockers, and I am Christopher Russo. Should I try again? Go ahead. And good evening, everybody. We are here to celebrate Marv Albert's night tonight. I am Christopher Russo from WFAN. And folks, I'm Mike Francesa. Good evening to everybody. And welcome. The dog and I are here, and this is a rare public appearance together, folks, I promise you. <laughs> We are pleased to be your host as the Knicks in the Garden honor a man who has been the voice of Knicks basketball for a quarter century. He's captured the drama and the excitement of 25 years of hoops, two championships, and so many thrilling moments. So as we celebrate Marv Albert's silver anniversary, let's meet some special guests on hand to pay tribute to Marv. First, the original voice of the Knicks, the guy who coined good like Needix, and Marv's sportscasting mentor, welcome Marty Glickman. Former Knicks player, broadcaster, now the head coach at Howard University, Butch Beard. Perennial sidekick on college basketball broadcasts on NBC, Bucky Waters. Marv's television counterparts during the championship years, the team of Bob Wolf and Cal Ramsey. You go. And here's one of Marv's most famous colleagues, currently on the road with Sesame Street Live, he opening an engagement in Poughkeepsie on Thursday, but he made a special trip just to honor Marv. Here is Oscar the Grouch. Get it straight, Oscar, huh? Here are Marv's Ranger broadcast partners. At a rare basketball game, Sal Red Light Messina and the founder of the Marv Albert Fan Club, you know him from WFAN, our guy Howie Rose. And on the Rangers television team on the MSG network, welcome Sam Rosen and JD John Davidson. Working with Marv on MSG Network, colleagues Al Trotwig and Bruce Beck. Hey, Jimmy. Next up, the Knicks radio team, at least half of it, Jim Carvellis. And Marv's broadcast sidekicks from MSG Network, John Andres, and from NBC Sports, the czar of the telestrator, Mike Fritzello. Here's the man who first coined the phrase, yes, and it counts, which Marv would later make a fixture on a New York sports scene, pioneer NBA official, Sid Borgia. The Hall of Fame coach who piloted the Knicks to two NBA titles and gave Marv some of his most memorable moments, Red Holtzman. <laughs> and the man with that unique four-back baby jump shot, number 12, Dr. Dick Barnett. You're up again. No, no Phil Jackson, you're up. No Monroe, no Monroe. What? No Monroe. You're up again, go ahead. 
We are delighted to welcome Marv's family here this evening. Here is his father, Max Albert, and his four children, Kenny, the voice of the AHL's Baltimore Skipjacks, Jackie, Denise, and Brian. Hey, Kenny. At time, this man's game defied description, but Marv always found a way. The master of the spin move, Hall of Famer Earl the Pearl Monroe. And now our guest of honor, simply put, the voice of the Knicks, Marv Alvin. <laughs> yes, and here it comes. Right Marv's brothers, Steve and Al, are NBA play-by-play -play men for the Nuggets and Warriors, respectively, and as a result, Neither could be here tonight, but both have sent their greetings via videotape. First Al, and then Steve. As Marv's brother, I can't tell you how proud I am of him. He is uh, such a shining example that the work release program can be successful. Uh, I've been asked what I think is uh, the biggest accomplishment of Marv's in his 25 years as a broadcaster of the Knicks, and I, I think this says it all. On Nick team flights, uh, he has actually bumped players from first class. Totally awesome. Way to go, big bro. Well, Marv, uh, congratulations on your 25th anniversary with the Knicks. I know it's a big day for you. I'm only sorry I couldn't be uh, there today. You see, it's my bowling night. Uh, actually, I'm in uh, Sacramento uh, doing the uh, broadcast of the Warriors and the Kings. And uh, wait a minute, I just realized... I'm giving up Marv Albert night to be in Sacramento. Anyway, I'd like to uh, bring in a good friend of yours and mine, a fellow Brooklynite, Chris Mullen of the Golden State Warriors, to share in this tribute to Marv. And uh, Chris, what is your fondest memory of my brother Marv? Well, I really love him on that show, The Grudge Match. I really think he's great on that. Yeah. Uh, th thanks a lot, Chris. Anytime, Al. Uh, I'll see you on the 50th anniversary. Congratulations, Marv. I don't understand this. Nobody ever gets this right. You see, I'm Steve. Marv's in New York. Al's in Denver. Let me let me give you that. Here's my driver's license. You see what it says? It says, Steve, I don't call you Terrence. I don't call you John. Can't you guys ever get it right? Unbelievable. And another special message from my Hall of Famer, the senator from New Jersey, Bill Bradley. Marv is more than just somebody who broadcast the Knicks. He was a part of the Nick experience, and frankly, I might not have heard him when I was listening and I was a player, but I sure hear him now in the highlights of the Knicks and the Nick history, and the tapes that people send me of the fifth game in 1970 or the seventh game in 1970 or the finals in 1973. And all I can say is that not only was Marv Albert a great announcer, but he added a dimension to all of our experience of the time. And having him on tape is a memory that's going to make it all live with us for a lot of years to come. Bill Bradley, we have several presentations. First from the Garden family, represented by Madison Square Garden President Bob Gutkowski who is joined by MSG Network President Doug Moss and the Rangers General Manager Neil Smith. They're presenting Marv with a square back or a crystal to commemorate his silver anniversary. Now from the Knicks, President Dave Checkets and Vice President Ernie Grunfeld. 
They'll present Marv with an original sterling silver and crystal microphone inscribed in recognition and celebration of 25 years as the voice of the Knicks, your tireless efforts, style, enthusiasm, and professionalism are unparalleled. Also, the Knicks will present Marv with a frame number 25, marking 25 years behind the mic. The PR departments of the Knicks, MSG Network, and the Rangers know that Marv has a rocket, so here's Oscar the Grouch presenting Marv with an oversized tennis racket and tennis ball, symbolizing the only sport <laughs> that Marv is even slightly competitive in at his advanced age. <laughs> in addition, Marv will also receive his very own ping pong table so he can stay in shape for a sport in which he supposedly excels. And before we bring on our guest of honor, let's hear from some of Marv's broadcast associates. And that first legendary broadcast associate is Marty Glickman. Ladies and gentlemen, of all the sports Marv broadcasts, basketball and the New York Knickerbockers are his first and lasting love. He was a ball boy for the New York Knicks when he played schoolyard basketball in Brooklyn out of Lincoln High School. He formed the first New York Knicks fan club with its leading light, a jump shooter named Jim Bechtel. He wanted to be a sports broadcaster, and has he ever succeeded? I'm delighted to have been with him at the outset. He is now the best. Marv, congratulations. Next up, Marv's NBC sidekick, known as the Czar, Mike Fratello. <laughs> Kissing Marv's ring is much easier than what I normally have to do each week with NBC. I began my broadcast career with Marv Albert. Obviously, I will end it with him, but he is the very best, and my sincere thanks and deepest congratulations. Thank you. And finally, from MSG Network, he's been at Marv's side for almost 20 years, John Andres. I have spent 14 years with Marv, and as you all know, sometimes it gets a little rough. You can get a little cynical when you consider the guy never pulled down a rebound, never participated in a two-on-one fast break. He's done pretty well. In fact, Marv's, Marv's idea of a good two-on-one is two movies in a single day. That's Marv at his best, actually, the Marv Albert off the court. But as you all know, Marv casts a long shadow, and those of us who have been fortunate enough to be in it are very happy for him and happy to be here tonight. Marv, I want to remind you, in your 25 years, the first six years included two NBA championships for the New York Knicks. Willis Reed gave you some credit for that, and I think it's time once again. Marv, the very best to you, and let's hope there'll be another 25. Thank you. You know, like everybody else, and I mean everybody else, folks, I grew up listening to Marv Albert. You had to. He did every event in town. 
still does. But from one New Yorker to another, what else can I say except yes, and it counts the 25 marvelous years. Ladies and gentlemen, Marv Alvin. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And it is so meaningful to me that because of my presence, tonight's game has been sold out for months. Michael and the Bulls, I should say, thanks for dropping by. It is difficult for me to accept the fact that 25 years have gone by since I first broadcast New York Nick basketball. Of course, I began my Nick radio career at the age of 12. I wanted to point that out. On a serious note, I've been fortunate to work with some wonderful partners. Well, eight out of the nine. And I've been very lucky to team up with not only a number of talented people, but also a super group of guys and terrific production people at the MSG Network and at NBC, the very best. Although Fratello and Andres at times can get on your nerves. You're all aware of the czar of the Telestrator, Mike Fratello and John Andres, and I have had a very close relationship over the years. There's nothing that I wouldn't do for John, and there's nothing he wouldn't do for me. And that's how it's been for the last five years. We've done nothing for each other. Now, my career, I've worked with the likes of John and Mike, Red Light Messina, The Fight Doctor, Ferdy Pacheco, Bucky Waters, and Butch Beard and Cal Ramsey. I really need a better agent. It is a kick, though, for me to see the guys from the Nick Championship teams who have turned out, and it brings me back to my roots as a, a broadcaster and thoughts of one of the greats of basketball broadcasting, Marty Glickman, being so helpful and believing in me and my parents encouraging me and thoughts of the sound of the crowd here at the Garden. And most of all, I realize that I'm saying this into a maze of 19,000 plus all of you out there on watching on television, but I truly wish I could thank each and every one of you for being so kind and receptive to me over the years. I'm, I'm really appreciative of your support, and not many of us uh, receive this kind of opportunity to say thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the second half.